Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, you're highly welcome. So today we're going to be talking about toxic friendship and how it's impacted us. If you'd like to know more, stay tuned. So these are the type of toxic friendship we do not like. So yeah, for me, I was just thinking about friends that take advantage of you, where you're like giving and giving into the friendship, and they're just taking, and also people that don't believe in you. You know, it's, you want someone that is going to push you to be the best that you can be, not someone that's going to drag you down. For me, it's someone that has negative energy. Like anytime you're around them, they just bring in the negativity. You want to be happy, you want to be positive, but they just keep bringing you down every single opportunity they get. And the second one is someone that breaks their promises. If they say that they're going to do something and literally they don't keep their word, you literally know them for breaking their promises. They need to go. Bye. The fifth one is someone, someone that, that gossips. Why are you saying it so sad? <laughs> Someone, Someone that, that gossip. gossip. So one of the examples I can give you about um, a bad situation that happened to me due to friendship was people gossiping about me basically when I started wearing my hijab. They didn't feel like they can actually message me or contact me via phone and actually ask me how I feel, why I'm changing my hijab and all that stuff. But they jumped to conclusion and just decided to think that I'm changing myself too fast, I'm changing myself for this and this reason, but did not want to find out my point of view. And it really upset me because I felt like, if you want to know something, just come and ask. Mm -hmm. It's really easy to just ask someone. Surely that person will actually tell you how they feel or whatever question you have, they may answer it as well. So it's really important to know that if you're friend with someone, trust them, use your communication because Communication skills literally improve any type of relationship. Boyfriend and girlfriend, husband, wife, mother, sisters, it literally improves all of them. Especially in a friendship where you choose each other, you choose to be in that person's life. It's important for you to communicate with them and get to know how they feel, especially if they're going through a major change. Of mm. course, the other person at the other end will feel like, oh, this person is changing. I'm, I'm a bit scared because I don't know if they're going to be the same person or they're going to have the same type of attitude to Award me because they're going for a big change but if you communicate with them then you understand that even then they're going for a big change they still love you and they still would want you in their life so communication just make a big difference well for me I mean things happen all the time but just drawing upon one particular experience was back at school and obviously as we all know school is <laughs> Childish. Yeah. So gossip is at its height. And not just that, you know, people who you think are your friends might not actually be your friends, etc. But I had a friend that we did a lot of things together with and you know we were friends for quite a long time and then for some reason she started telling people around the school some of my secrets, some of the things that have happened to me, uh, etc. And, you know, I didn't really understand. But the only way I dealt with it at the time was to embrace mm -hmm. what was being said, you know, just so people didn't have that power. Um, but I ended up obviously not speaking to her and, and cut her off at that time. Obviously explaining why. I mean, it's pretty obvious why. <laughs> um, but because of who this person was, later on, a few years later, um, there were situations where she was in a place where I was and so you know being more adult about it I thought well let me just be civil because th mm. there's no point that was the past you know things people change or whatever not um, but something else happened again um, like similar sort of thing so I was like right I'm not going to be going to any places where this person is I'm not going to have this person's number just block them off everything and just cut them out so for me you know it, it, it was quite hard and really upsetting and difficult but you just have to yeah you just have to soldier on because you've got to do what's right for you so. that's true that's 100% true so I do feel like the positive part about the whole story that you said is you gave her a chance yeah do you know what I mean because it's so easy for you to just say oh that person that's how they are that's it I'm not going back there I'm not gonna 
Um, I'm going to forgive them, but I'm not going to forget as well. So it's like, you literally gave her a chance. We showed her that you forgave her, mm -hmm. but um, you're not going to forget because she did it again. And you're just like, mate, <laughs> you, you had your chance. That's it. We're done. You're yeah. not going to have that opportunity again. So I do feel like the positive part of that is giving them another chance. And the negative part about cutting people off, which I've done so many times, <laughs> It's actually not giving them a chance, so I have to learn from what you, from what you said. Because yeah. someone can do something to me, and I'll be like, I forgave them, but I will never be in that situation again. So I'm gonna cut them off so quickly. They won't even have the opportunity to give me an explanation. And I feel like it's really important to get that explanation because yeah. no one's perfect. Everyone makes mistake. Mm -hmm. That person might have done that out of weakness, like something like, for example, gossiping. They might have been in a situation where everyone was gossiping about you, so they felt like they had to say something thing or they might just I'm not sure they might just have that moment where they just made a mistake without realizing yeah. so it's important for you to actually just have a chat with them and be like you said this to me I don't like it mm -hmm. and all that stuff and they might just apologize and just say, I'm really sorry I didn't mean to but then oh another one is if mm -hmm. you've given them a chance girl and they do it again just know that it's bye-bye bye-bye yeah. ain't got time for you mate bye because that person is like the first time they did it you had a chat with them you told them how you feel they might have apologized or they might have not apologized what yeah. they did was wrong but yet they decide to do it again i think you know with that you know for someone to understand what they've done wrong they would need to apologize yeah for them to know that they did something wrong they will have to acknowledge it that's yeah, so true you know it's you've always got to if you've acknowledged it you would then apologize whether you know or your part mm -hmm. in in that situation yeah and that is the first step of moving on whether you stay friends with them or not like you say speaking to them getting that closure and understanding is i think important yeah 100 percent. like i said before communication is so important because i know there's situations where you can be friends with someone they did something wrong to you you might not even talk to them about it mm. you'll just be like i don't want to be in that situation where i have to confront them so you might just brush it off. So it's like, if you just don't even tell them how you feel, how are they going to know that they're doing something that's upsetting you? Yeah. So you will definitely have to let them know so they can acknowledge it and apologize to you if they feel like they're in the wrong. Mm -hmm. But then if they don't feel like they're in the wrong, then, <laughs> mate, I don't know what to do. <laughs> it depends, you know, like I was in a situation recently with a family member, mm -hmm. sorry, but just to go on with this, <laughs> um, where neither of us would Ignore back it. down from yeah. what we were saying and you know we had to agree to disagree i'm still not fully satisfied but um and i'm sure they're not <laughs> either but we agreed to disagree and we've sort of left it at that yeah but we have spoken about it twice to try and get to a, a middle ground but it it wasn't able to happen yeah so we just agreed to disagree at least you both know each other's you know it, how you, you guys feel basically yep so the last part of this video is talking about our friendship and how we managed to actually have a 10 10 year worth of friendship <laughs> literally can you imagine i've never thought about it but that's literally how it is like yeah we don't see each other all the time but when we see each other it's like we we see each other all the time if that makes sense yeah. one of those friendships that absolutely value like you don't have any expectation where you think oh, i have to see you every weekend you mm -hmm. can literally we will probably want to see each other for like two months or some before it was even a year yeah because well, obviously like when you went to uni in manchester yeah, we i was in, in london mm -hmm. i think we, we know, probably didn't see each other for a few years yeah <laughs> we didn't see each other but we still spoke to each other to just check on, his, in, on each other once in a blue moon or if yeah. I see a picture on Facebook I'll be like oh you look lovely and stuff like that so she knows that I still think about her well, not Facebook because <laughs> we, we didn't have each other on Facebook for how long and we didn't even know yeah I know well it's good though that means we have a real friendship yeah. in the real world in the real world that's true <laughs> so um, our friendship story is basically we feel like it's really important to know what's the boundary and not and what's not the boundary so it's like um sabrina she always asks me if she doesn't understand something and i'll try to ask you as well i don't, mm -hmm. I don't think i do it that often but i should do it often i ask her as well if there's something that i don't understand so she gives me an explanation it's really important to know that you will have different views in life mm -hmm. you will have different ways of life based 
learning that we're all human beings and we all should respect each other. Yeah. I feel like um, having that character, having that, those morals really have a good impact on friendship mm. because you might not like something that they're doing or they might not like something that you're doing. But knowing that that person is a human being just like you, have feelings just like you, is really important. So there's different ways you can approach the situation. They might be saying something that really makes your blood boil. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> you never know want to talk Don't about. we know it. <laughs> but it's like you have to contain yourself and just be respectful toward whatever you're talking about and talk to them talk to them as you would like to be spoken to. Mm. So that person doesn't get offended or you know what I mean. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> but you know, I think as well, what is quite nice is that we didn't actually go to school with each other. We didn't, mm -hmm. it's not like we met at school and we've continued our friendship. Um, we actually met at a summer school. <laughs> yeah. Um, and realized that we lived near each other, which we didn't know obviously mm -hmm. prior to. And, then continued that friendship we went to the same college but in different classes mm -hmm. and, and stuff and as we as i say we were at different universities and um quite clearly lived different lives but Literally. yeah you know there, there's something that we connect on and maybe our souls and our energy are, are connected definitely because i feel like I remember the first time I met you, we literally clicked. Yeah. Like, literally, like it was like as if I know this girl for years. It's one of those friendships that if you just click with someone, it's one of those things that you, f you know that no matter what you would... You don't even have to fix anything because you mm. just click. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, because I'm just thinking about it. I don't think we've actually had a serious problem mm -hmm. that we've... we've we've been challenged I yeah. don't think our friendship has actually because been challenged because we actually don't we're not together all the time I feel yeah. like it's because we have that space from each other we don't we don't have any time to bicker or yeah. any time to have any negativity because when we see each other we're happy to see each other it's like we have so much to catch up on I think we both have got understanding of each other as well like you are who you are mm -hmm. and I am who I am and I don't expect any different yeah do you know mm -hmm. what I mean like yeah yeah definitely so i do feel like like we said before about the toxic um friendship the stuff that we don't like as well those stuff we try our best for, for me i feel like those are really like number one like don't do that to me and i'm happy mm. and i know she does that we never even had that conversation before it's, this this is the first time it's coming up but it's kind of like those things that you should kind of have um well, like common sense. Common sense. That's the, that's the word. Common sense. <laughs> that's the word I was looking for. <laughs> common sense. Literally, you would have common sense of don't do this to someone. Don't do something to someone that you would not like to be done to yourself. Mm. So it's just common sense, really. So use your common sense and be nice to other people around you. If you don't agree with something that they're doing, go and have a discussion with them, communicate with them. If you still don't agree with what they're doing, just respect them for who they are and yeah. have your disagree. And well, yeah, as well. Like I think it's not everyone that you're going to be friends with. It's not everyone that you need to be friends with. Yeah. I mean, you know. <laughs> There's someone like people you've been friends with for so long and then things change in life and yeah. you're looking for something different. And it's just acknowledging that and not being afraid of that as well because yeah. I think people get so worried and I just think, well, you know, you need to do what's right for you yeah. and as long as you do it, like you say, in a respectful way, mm -hmm. then, yeah. And I, I do, yeah, coming from what you said, I do definitely agree with that because I feel like as you grow up, the less friends you have yeah, yeah, yeah. less circle of friends i can you can literally have less than five close friends i have literally <laughs> i don't even want to say but <laughs> very small circle of friends that you can trust and be close to but you wouldn't go to every one of them to actually have is to say everything about yeah, your life sure. to you pick one person to say this to you pick one person to say this to because that's your level of trust you have with mm -hmm. them and they have different qualities mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and different experience like if you need advice about this you can go to this person if you need advice about something else you can go to other person so it's it's part of life growing mm -hmm. up you know you might literally grow apart there's something that happens like that you just grow apart you might not have any argument you literally just grew apart because your way of life is just different as you grew up yeah yeah i think as well like with the social media thing because we we're just yeah. talking about what's real life mm -hmm. like i think you might do it as well i'm not sure but um about like blog 
like <laughs> unfollowing people and blocking people off like I think don't be afraid to do that as well yeah. just have a clear out every now and again mm -hmm. because it's not everyone that you need to be seeing or that vice versa um again because that comes back to people that support you and yeah. stuff if people aren't actually supporting I mean and they're just ghosting it's, yeah there's no point no there is no point and not at all. Yeah, have a clear out have a clear out friends toxic friends <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much for watching my video guys please comment below and let me know um some experience that you went through for toxic friendship and how you dealt with it as well we would love to know because i'm sure everyone's been through some type yeah. of toxic friendship and it'll be good to know your experience and how you have dealt with it so i can also learn from your wisdom sure. so i hope you guys have a lovely day thank you and <laughs> sabrina will be having her own youtube channel i hope very soon <laughs> so when she does have a youtube channel i will pull her youtube name in the description below yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe thank you